on guys, we are back. Today I am gonna show you how to properly plan and shoot your car in 2024. Going to the spot right now. I will see you there in two seconds. We got a little opportunity here. A little bit of room. <laughs> she sounds so good, man. Do we upgrade the exhaust? This car has already got so much done to it. That could be a next thing. We've had the axle back forever. Might be time. All right, spot one. The pro setup here, what's going on? I just recently got this. Yeah? Thing. So I'm up here, you know, YYZ Vision on IG, TikTok, and all that. Uh, yeah, so, you know, I hit up Chris. I saw he had an M5, it was really clean, and I wanted an opportunity to, you know, film for him. For Let's go. I'll start at the back for, for now, you know, get some detail shots, the exhaust, and all that. And then I'm gonna start moving towards the front and then get all the angles. And then later, we'll go down and do some controllers. We're going to go over some of the top tips for car photography in 2024. Whether you're starting out, whether you're a couple years in, whether you're a professional, you're going to find something in here that's going to help you. And uh, this guy here is going to do it for you. I have some experience I wish to share with you guys, you know? First question I think I would ask is why car photography over like any other style of photography? So. When I first started, uh, I was doing like normal like nature photography stuff like that. But then I have a lot of passion for cars, and then my friend actually got an S4, so I started recording that, and then I just fell in love with car photography and videography, and then just. In, in terms of beginner tips, you guys have seen my videos before. Do not take the videography tips from me. A beer's the guy you want to hear it from. Uh, basic three first tips for a guy who's going to start tomorrow what would you say in terms of starting off uh always shoot when it's like midday so near sunset that's when you could get the best lighting never like nighttime because that's like really hard because some of the footage becomes grainy and stuff and when it's too bright outside it's like it's really hard to you know get the exposure rates and stuff so sunset is definitely one of the best times to do it Really good angles are usually low shots when you start coming in low and then having some high angle shots. <laughs> God damn! <laughs> From the front for sure, because like it's very mean from the front, you know? It's like tire shots are always good because like you gotta show off the beautiful tires. Come on. Of course. Uh, angles from the back is always the best because. You could get the exhaust, you could get the emblems, everything is just there, you know? Yeah. Everything you need to know about the car. And the spoiler, obviously. So in a nutshell, if you were going to do car photography tomorrow on your car, front shot head on, rear shot, side tire shot, and maybe a three quarter. some details. Inside. Yeah. Walk us so through it. I'm rocking the Weeble S from Zion, the gimbal. Uh, it's pretty good for DSLRs and stuff. And then I'm rocking the Sigma 30mm uh, for the lens. The right Rebel back. the Rebel Canon SL3 from Canon, obviously. And then I just picked this up. is the Feel World uh, monitor. I think it's 55 inch. Nice. And How much would, would you set the setup cost you? The gimbal was... I think like 300. The camera was like a, I think 900 ish. Uh, the lens was like 600. No, not 600. Like 400. And the monitor was pretty cheap. Like nice 100. 
And when you first started, would you say it's possible to do it with like an, an iPhone if you really had 100%. to? 100%. I yeah. first started on an iPhone. It already has a built-in stabilizer, so it's like really good. You're just good to go pretty much. It's pretty the same thing with me. When I started doing YouTube videos, it was just an iPhone, no mic, no nothing, just regular phone. Obviously, we've upgraded since then, but it's I think it's the quality of the content that makes the biggest it's difference sure. at the end. For starting, I would always recommend something you're comfortable with. Everyone has a phone, literally has a camera on it. Just pick it up and go, you know? Pick it out and uh, start shooting. Tips for location. So for example, this here, we picked a nice spot. I think the yellow contrasts super nicely with uh, the green of the car. Tips for picking locations when you shoot different cars. Is it always the same? Or does uh, it depend on the car you're shooting? I think it depends because obviously this goes really good with the background because the green, you know, yellow. For some like, like a darker car, I would say where it's like lit and like nicely brightened. Gives you some contrast. Of course. And yeah. then uh, always go on Google Maps. <laughs> Google Maps is your best friend. <laughs> Honestly, like we didn't also like just go around some spots. Cause we don't, we wouldn't have found this spot. Yeah. We just randomly explore. Stuff on the it gives you something to do too. I find that too. Like I really struggled with when I first started doing vlogs. I was always just filming in my backyard, and I'm sure you guys got tired of just seeing like my back steps and me all the time. So it's nice to get out, go to different locations, drive around till you find something cool. And uh, I had no idea this was here. I went to meet up with these guys and found this spot, and here we are. Okay, I have a, one last good question. When it comes to filming car videos, doing the photos, all that. How much of it comes down to the skill of the photographer versus like more expensive equipment is better quality? Like overall, how much of it is I would more say, important, would you say? I've definitely seen a lot of people shooting on iPhone that are really, really good. But for me, it's just the quality when I'm exporting and stuff just comes out really crisp. crisp. It's like a lot yeah. better. So probably like a, big, a mix of both. You gotta know what you're doing and you have to have the equipment to back it up. Also, I like enjoying, you know, holding this. This is sick, man, yeah. Just like. This is gonna be the highest quality video I've ever posted just because it's gonna be his footage, so. Hopefully. hopefully. <laughs> Rollers? Let's go. Done. Oh, that was perfect. <laughs> Transition into the roller. That's sick. I love that. So rollers now. Rollers. Rollers. All right, the boys are getting in the trunk. Time for some rollers. We got the flybys. <laughs> A beer. How are we feeling back there? <laughs> you look comfy, dude. You look safe. You look strapped in. This looks legal. He's good to go. I think these are my, probably my best rollers. Oh, honestly. that was super fun. Who's this guy? This guy's, gonna, this guy's about to ask you for oh, some free rollers as well. <laughs> <laughs> let's, do it, let's go. Oh, you heard that super charger? Right. Good shoot, good shoot. Good see, shoot. You, see you, see you. Oh, he's gonna fly by for sure. I'm gonna get this shit on. Oh my god. Oh, yo, that's great. What the fuck? What? <laughs> It has been a long weekend for this car. If you guys made it all the way to the end of the video, thank you so much. I hope it was helpful. Kind of a different style of video with the interview and things like that. I'm always looking to learn from you guys what kind of content you want to see, so please comment down below what you thought. Also, feel free to ask some questions down below because I'm going to be answering some of your subscriber questions in the next vlog. I always pick two or three at least, so make sure you leave those too. I always got something going on with the M5, so if you want to see more content on that car and on car culture in general, Make sure you leave a sub and a like, that way you'll be able to check out the next video too. Go check out apparelbyenemy.com, my car culture clothing brand. Grab yourself some M5 merch if you're interested. We also have every other car you can imagine on there. We also got posters, keychains, all kinds of accessories, clothes. You're going to find something on there. Also, quick tip, you save a little bit of money when you sign up by email. Make sure you do that too. Link is in the description below. I'll catch you guys in the next one. I love you very much. My name's Chris. See ya. I'm gonna be